2024. This is the first video of 2024. And I, for one, am very excited. I have so much to catch you all up on. I mean so much. And I'm probably going to be spinning like this the entire time because I'm sitting in my office chair. Take a little break from work to just come on and uh, really I'm doing an intro for videos that I meant to post in December. Yeah, let's talk about it. So first of all, before I get into that, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gaby here on the channel. Well, I used to say here on the channel we are Miss GCH. Right now, we're kind of a nameless channel. Right now, it's just my name. And we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> but welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm your favorite millennial and consistent YouTuber. <laughs> if you wanted a consistent version of me, you should have found me back in like 2018 because that's when I was living my best YouTuber life. Right now, I am just here giving y'all content when the content comes to me and when I have time to edit it, okay? And you know, I've put out in the in the atmosphere before that I wanna be more consistent, but then I don't wanna get y'all's hopes up, okay? So I'm just here, hi. <laughs> if you need one more inconsistent vlogger in your life, go ahead and drop down and subscribe. <laughs> For the rest of y'all that are real, been about it, still about it, and um, are just happy that I'm posting, what's up you guys? happy 2024 so let's get into it first things first i feel like i've learned a lot in the last like month of my life which has been very good some of it a little challenging but i feel like i've learned a lot and one of those things that i've been learning and have been talking to my counselor about is the fact that i really think i've gotten to the root of like why i'm even inconsistent on youtube this is not the actual conversation i have with my counselor but i feel like i've gotten to the root of like my inconsistencies with things that are for me and i think it's very reflective of the fact that i have like almost completely abandoned myself in the midst of like my responsibilities and roles and things in the last probably four years i would say of my life um it's been on a steady like decline and it's really because i prioritize other things way more than i prioritize things for myself and it's becoming super apparent for me the closer i get to 30 which by the way next month next month y'all next month i will be turning 30 years old that is actually wild but i feel like the closer i get it sounds cliche but it's so true it's like this natural awakening that's happening where i'm really paying more attention to like why i do things i do and why my life is the way that it is you know asking all the deep questions and one of those things i realized is like for example if i have something on the books for work that's a meeting because i work from home sometimes i can get involved in some other things but i know if i have a meeting at 10 o'clock Bye y'all, I'm getting off FaceTime, I'm getting off whatever else I'm doing because I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. Why do I do that? Because I have this sense of priority obligation to my job, right? If there's something that one of my friends really wants me to be at or it's something big that they're really desiring my support for, most times I am prioritizing that before I prioritize anything else in my life. When my church has become serve or do certain things throughout the week, I tell people I can't do that because I'm going to church. I have some other obligation. So I'm really good at prioritizing these things for all of these other areas of my life. When it comes to myself and the goals that I set for myself and the things that I tell myself I need to do for me, for my creative outlet, for just leisure, for like this is me time, anything can take the place of that and i mean anything <laughs> anything anybody else needs me to do sorry if you hear those in the background that's just my uh work chat situation but yeah i like all anything can take priority over the things that i set aside for myself so i have in the past multiple times set a schedule for myself of like recording and editing days um things that i want to do on social media or even just like i miss my website i haven't had my website in just about a year um it didn't seem like a good financial decision to keep it at the time because i really wasn't posting anything anywhere so there was no traction to my website so i was paying hundreds of dollars for absolutely nothing i miss that like all the places my brain goes when i have a moment 
to myself to think and plan and just be creative and i've been stripping myself of that i don't think i would have said it in that way previously but that's exactly that's exactly it that's exactly what's been happening and so that happened in december <laughs> so i was so set on um 12 days of christmas it felt attainable it felt doable i was on the path to doing it i took two weeks off of work for myself just to have a uh, paid time off and uh, as you can probably imagine, <laughs> I think I got the last two days of those, uh, what, 16, 18 days, I got the last two to myself. Like the last two days I was actually at home doing things for the household, doing things for my husband and I like planning for our 2024 dreaming up stuff being creative like i literally got the last i think two or three days which was wild <laughs> um so yeah i'm just i was so excited taking that two weeks off and so ready for like the break and all of these creative ideas that i had and i mean i looked back like what happened and that was the real wake-up call for me of like i really took this time off to rest and i get resting around the holidays is hard anyway but i really played myself <laughs> like in real time i was watching myself play myself of just saying yes to things and then not even having the awareness until the thing came up of like oh these are back-to-back -back things that i'm saying yes to that i don't have to say yes to and I'm adding extra things on my plate for literally no reason. Like, yes, I wanna show up for people. Yes, I wanna do the things and whatever. But like, at the sacrifice of my two weeks of PTO, at the sacrifice of like every waking moment, not having control of my day and not having just some extra leisure time to just be on my break, on my work break. It was wild, it was wild. I was I was pretty upset at myself, um, truly. So, all that to say, it was definitely awakening and I've been just a little bit more bold lately. Again, I think the closer I get to my birthday of just like, I've really gotta focus in on me. And I don't mean that in a selfish way or like, you know, in a forget y'all, I'm the top priority type of way. I'm not that type of person and I think that's why it's really hard for me to prioritize myself even in a healthy way because it all runs together like I think I'm being selfish if I tell somebody no when I can do something I have the ability and the time to do something I still say no it feels wrong to me it feels bad and I feel like I have to come up with a different excuse so then instead of doing all that and going down that whole rabbit hole I just say yes <laughs> unhealthy do not be like me okay do not be like me it's a habit that i'm really trying to break like really really just honoring myself and like even honoring like the purpose and the creativity that god has given me like clearly he's trying to do something because the things that come to mind and come into my heart and are burdened on my heart of like i need to do this i need to do this um not in a striving type way but just in an excited like i think the lord wants to do something with this and i don't even make time for it and it's like that's that's not only a slap in the face to me it's a slap in the face to god and me thinking that my job is you know my sustainer and you know me showing up for people and doing all the things for people is a sustainer of those relationships and it's not there's so much more that god wants to do in me and through me if i just give him the time and give myself the time so these are great revelations that take a little bit of time and practice to really work through like it's gonna take some time but i do feel the closer that i'm getting to 30 and just the year 2024 in general has felt so exciting so motivating i feel like it just feels like a new era which you think like is it really gonna feel like that when you hit 30 i can't explain it but it does truly feel like a new era like it just feels like something different is on the horizon and it's already being birthed in me and so i'm just trying to ride that wave and like let the things that need to be uprooted be uprooted the things the new things that need to be planted let those be planted i'm going through ecclesiastes right now um, in my bible time and this amazing devotional um i'll share all of that with you all if you're interested but um i was on the verses in ecclesiastes 3 today um where it's like there's a time um to plant there's a time to uproot there's a time to um 
tear down, what is it? It's a time to build, a time to tear down, a time for birth, a time to die. A time, like it's just a bunch of those kind of little dyads and it really makes it apparent. There is a time and a season for everything under the sun and like you have to be really attentive to the season that you're in and listen to the Lord to what what is it that I'm supposed to be uprooting or planting right now? What are the things that you're trying to do in this season that may look different than a previous season? It may almost feel like an opposite of another season and instruction that we got in another season, but it's for right now. It's for what he's trying to do in me and through me right now. So that was a lot to throw at your face, but that's what's, that's what's going on in my world right now. And then honestly, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really healthy in general. Um, there's some blogs coming up where I'll talk to you about this uh, 45 day fit challenge that I'm doing with my old personal trainer. And it's just that in a combo with like having a night in a morning routine and really just honoring myself and giving the Lord time, myself time before I jump into work, um, feeding myself good and healthy things and uh, watching my body like revert to like this healthy state that it has so badly desired to be at but I've been feeding it ham and fried chicken. <laughs> that is chaotic but it's the truth okay. Like, yeah, so I'm just, I, I feel really good. I really do. And I feel like all of this is not only in preparation for like this next season that I'm walking into, but like there's so much I think that's involved in the season of just my 30s. Like, you know, even the idea of becoming a mother in my 30s is a wild. But it's like, it's a reality. And having those kind of conversations and recognizing that my identity is going to shift again my responsibilities are going to shift in a whole new way a lot of things will be outside of my control uh, which is another thing i'm learning through ecclesiastes is this theme of like this illusion of control that we think we have over our lives and so i'm trying to steward well my right now so that when it comes time to you know having children and navigating that whole new role that I've already established some healthy things within myself because to be honest the state that I was in previously like completely oblivious and just sucking myself dry I couldn't imagine walking into motherhood and I say obviously the Lord would have graced me for it if the opportunity had come but maybe I would have been Y'all would have been scraping me up off the floor is, is how I'm feeling about it. But thankfully, the Lord has brought me to some revelations, is getting me together in preparation for motherhood plus everything else, you know, that could come um, in this next season. So I am very excited. So I just want to come on and do an intro because I don't even know what the footage looks like that I have lingering for December, but I am going to go into it a little bit. I might include some of the footage from the first few days in 2024, but it could quite literally not fit in this video because this intro was much longer than I intended. So um, yeah, I'm gonna share with you all whatever footage I have from December that didn't make it in for 12 days of Christmas. And then yeah, just stay tuned for what's ahead. I mentioned this in 12 days of Christmas, but I'm actually really excited because I am figuring out now my plan for rolling out the wedding footage, honeymoon footage, all that kind of stuff um, of that whole season. You all said that you were still interested in watching it even though it's a year later. <laughs> so I am going to do that. Um, so we're gonna have a little bit of a series of that. And then I do have something that the Lord has placed on my heart related to marriage. At first I was a little hesitant when people were asking me questions because I felt like we're still so in the thick of it and I so don't have answers for you and I'm so just trying to figure it out in these streets. Um, I didn't want to talk like a spokesperson for marriage, um, answering y'all's questions and trying to just sound like I knew what I was talking about because... I was pretty confident I didn't. But the Lord has revealed some things to me recently around marriage that is sort of an extension of my Stay Single and Left Behind series, which is wild, which is wild. And I hope some of you that are still following me maybe from back in those days, you get excited hearing that. But there's some connection there that I think the Lord wants me to build upon. I always felt like that series wasn't over when I stopped recording it. Um, and that there may be a way for me to like continue those videos in the future and I do believe I do believe we found a way so 
we'll see but all of that is hopefully coming if i learn to iron myself in the time that i'm setting aside for my creative flow um but yeah all that to say again happy 2024 i hope your year is starting off great mine certainly is if not you got time okay there's time to turn it around okay let's not write off 2024 in january we've still got time okay so all that said i love y'all and now i'm going to flip over to the christmas footage and i'll catch you on the next video Bye. Hi friends, good morning and welcome back to another day of 12 days of Christmas. We are back in action. I'm actually working right now editing the day six because we missed four and five because of a little gremlin in there. <laughs> JK, it was not all his fault. I had other stuff going on. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get this one edited right now. I have quite a bit of footage because I still was vlogging those couple days, so I'm trying to figure out how to cut it down. Um, I ended up returning the pajamas. Well, that's what I'm dropping off is the pajamas that I ordered from Amazon. So mine had come, babes hadn't, and they still hadn't uh, shipped. Um, I had ordered him some more and they still hadn't shipped and I really want to take pictures in Christmas pajamas with DJ um, and I'll wear pajamas while he opens up his Christmas gifts so I just found some other uh, pajamas from Target so that's the pickup order and then I'm returning the old pajamas um, that came for just me so got that all squared away which is good DJ come say hi DJ <laughs> <laughs> say hi everybody can you say hi hi oh say what's up guys <laughs> Sam's just playing and eating a banana hi. yeah are you eating a banana you eating a banana <laughs> say banana nana, nana? <laughs> You gonna go watch Monkey? Oh, Micah, yeah, you heard. <laughs> this is what my life has been since That's not funny, you fart boy. How you gonna leave me with a fart like that and just walk out? He keeps pointing out pride because he's ready to go. I'm ready to go too. I'm just trying to finish this video. Can I do that? Oh, it's currently 12.28, so we're not doing bad on time, um, but I am starting to get hungry, so I fed him a banana because I know he's hungry, so I might have to feed him lunch before we leave. Um, he still has leftovers from yesterday. He actually got to hang out with his aunt because last night I was uh, at rehearsal. Oh, I recorded footage from that. Okay, I'll put that in here. Sacrificial <laughs> what? This is the reason we're going to be late today. Lion. Ooh. Right so, here. First, so, so me, me trying to... Oh, I say you're the reason song. we're going to be late. So, verse one, KP will sing. I'll it's sing true. verse two. Sky, you will sing the pre-chorus. I'll sing the slave is our brother. And then, Sky, you will sing the pre-chorus. Oh, wait, are you talking about the slave is my brother? Oh, yeah, we took it out. I remember that. Verse one, but that felt so weird. That was two years ago. Three. 2020 was happening. Yeah, Singing along, like, like, let's just sing it. So, I mean, let's just sing no, it. no, we're gonna <laughs> sing it. We're free, we all know we're free. <laughs> free, somebody gonna be out there. Free, or do we? Oh, we don't have time for these philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go for the golden bachelor. I'm sorry. <laughs> So the truth comes out. The Golden Bachelor is over now. Oh, you don't want to eat Dan. It's over? He goes, yeah. Oh, it's been over for three weeks. Oh. 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 <laughs> My God. Whoa. She's the real problem. She's the real problem. She's the real problem. Whoa. Rejoice But yeah, so he was with his aunt who lives here while I went to rehearsal. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really excited for the Christmas services. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go with something I have for those who are curious about what I'm gonna do for what I wear. Last year I wore this green velvet suit and then I have this all white set that I forgot. Well, it's more like a cream that I think might work. I just need shoes, which now that I think about it, that means I probably need to go 
to Target. But I'm probably just gonna wait till after he leaves because he did really good in the store, but it's just, yeah, it's a whole thing to take a kid in the store. And especially if you don't know for sure what you're going in to get. So I'll probably wait till Friday after he leaves. I need to make a nail appointment because my nails are falling apart, truly. Um, and I'm gonna go back to tips. I've been trying to grow my real nails out. Let's see if it'll focus. Trying to grow my real nails out and they've gotten kind of far but the inconsistency of some breaking and then they're short again and you're basically starting over i can't my nails are just fragile ever since what you got you showing them your flashlight yeah i just don't like uh the fact that my nails are so flimsy from like all the years of like you know acrylics and all of that and i just i want my nails to be really pretty especially for christmas but i just want to i want to i want them to feel done for more than a day and right now i feel like with my natural nail they're cute for like the first two days and then after that they're chipping and breaking and i'm just not down i'm not down so i'm going back to jellex i think um so i need to make that appointment though so i can be ready there's another appointment i wanted to do but i'm not oh my eyebrows I need to get my eyebrows done on Friday too, so. Say I got bedhead. I got bedhead. You're not gonna say it. <laughs> mm mm. Come on, give him a good morning. Say good morning. Today is our last day. Good morning, y'all. We've been up um, for a couple hours now, actually. Uh, he usually wakes up around like 7.45, 8, which is so funny that <laughs> on my off week, I'm up at that time. But you know what? I did tell the Lord that I wanted to uh, still get up at a decent hour, even on my off time, so that I could spend the morning how I want to and like have a full day. So we've been getting up. We had breakfast. We had waffles, blueberry waffles and apples and juice. And what else did you have? Chicken sausage. I don't know why he is fronting for y'all right now. Trust me, in about an hour, he gonna be talking nonstop. But we have a lot to do this morning. My parents are doing an impromptu visit um, just for Christmas time and all that jazz. I am trying to get the guest bedroom ready because um, they don't usually stay with us, usually stay with their god kids family um and so that's just because they have more room and yeah it just works out better but they're just doing an overnight trip so i'm going to get the second bedroom ready actually i need to do dishes too i'm going to head upstairs and get the second bedroom ready so you ready you ready <laughs> see there you go ready to go go <laughs> go let's do it high five yeah checking in we uh have been getting some stuff done even though it doesn't look like it <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> i told y'all he would talk to you in about an hour um it's been more than an hour it's about one o'clock right now but i had to show you guys so i'm cleaning because my parents i told y'all my parents are coming so i reset the table really just put plates out because why i don't know um clean the kitchen dishes are done we're gonna wipe those down and put them away but the kitchen's clean 
I still need to mop. Got loads of laundry done um, and going. I had to show you guys this though. I want to show you the couch. So I did pull out my little green machine. You know, I don't have the green one because they were sold out at the time. <laughs> and it was a housewarming gift. So, um, but yes, I got a little green and it is like a fabric cleaner um, and carpet cleaner. So I cleaned the couch because a special little cute little gremlin over here had crayon marks and all the things on the couch, which was not entirely his fault. I just decided to go ahead and clean the couch before my parents get here. So I just did some big uh, sections that had like, you know, the worst kind of stains on them. And then look at this water, you guys. Disgusting. I don't even want to know, but this is the dirty water. So just checking in. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. No judgment here, okay? And once again, shout out to all the mamas. The reason I'm whispering is we have a man down. He was literally falling asleep, sitting up, trying to eat some apples. And so I just laid him over and put a blanket on him. So it's been great because I've been able to pretty much get everything done upstairs. And I have these two bins that I now need to take down to the basement, but my bin is so heavy, so I have no idea how I'm gonna get it downstairs in this bin. But I might just leave them here and let my uh, dad do it when he gets here. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. You're used to the vlog now. You tell me hi. George. Come here. DJ. You put in your Christmas PJs? <laughs> You're welcome. Do you love them? You want to put them on? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Look at that cute boy. <laughs> Look at that cute boy. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bird. Hmm. Yeah. A bird. Mm -hmm. What? What? <laughs> yeah, they're a little big still. But that's good. You grow into them. What? No. Oh, wow. I met a pigeon and a monkey on the same day. Pitch me. Hi <laughs> there, pretty bird. Oh. Whoa, look at those Christmas PJs. I mean, completely unfazed. <laughs> Come here, right, right here. Get your book. Okay, I'll hold the book. You get the other two. Get these right here. Pick them up. Pick it up. <laughs> what is it? You want to open it? What is it? Come here. I got some fancy paper. <laughs> Put it down here so you can open it. DJ. DJ. Here. That's for you. <laughs> okay, look. It says to come here. It says to DJ from God Mommy and God Daddy. Okay. Tear it up. Open it up, man. Rip it. Open it up. Rip, rip. Don't sit on it. You gotta rip it. Look. Rip. Tear it. Tear it, DJ. Pull it open. Got a boy. Got a boy. Whoa, Got what boy. is it? <laughs> what is it? Wow. Flip it over. Look at it. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Look at that. You're gonna be a counting sensation. Yeah, you like it. You yeah. like it. Flip it open. Hey, print. Atta boy. Atta boy, tear it open, man. Go, go, go. There you go. What you got, man? Hang it in. Hee <laughs> hee 
What you got, DJ? Turn it over. Oh, flip it over. Look. Wow. DJ. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. How cute is that? You want to open? Open? Look at that guy. Look what Mommy got you. Yeah. He wants you to open it there. You want to open? Yeah. 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 Did we watch monkey? We watched a lot of monkey. We watched too much monkey. Ooh, hey. <laughs> we opened Christmas presents. Baby, 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 baby. Yes. We ate lots of bananas. Baby. Yes. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. <laughs> It ain't just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> a baby, baby. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, baby. That's the only downside about doing something kids like. You gotta do it 50 times. Baby, baby, baby. Like baby. Times. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> Anything else? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Is that funny? Hey.
be glorified in your presence when we get to fill this room. Uh, your spirit will fill this room, Lord. We just pray that you would have your way in the services, God, and even those that are not troubled by the statement, wondering what kind of greeting this could be. Suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth. Thank you, babe. And woogie 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 woogie.